My name is Julia Goodman. I am an artist in the Bay Area. I primarily work with uh, making low relief and handmade paper sculptures using old bed sheets and old t-shirts. Um, but over the last 15 years, or it's always been very important for me to use recycled materials. Today we're using um, all recycled paper. It was really important for me to use recycled materials, like I said, and I started making collages out of um, thrown away paper, and the pieces started getting smaller and smaller, and one day I was in my kitchen and I looked at the blender and I was like, what if they even got smaller? Um, and part of it was to use recycled materials, but not just to use them, but to transform them. So like ripping apart fibers and then reconnecting them, making new bonds. So that transformation process was really important to me, and it kind of went from there. So we have a two-layer intention. One is to be an introduction to paper making um, using do-it-yourself materials that can be replicated at home. Um, and the second is all of the kids are actually making handmade paper butterflies, and so um, in moving through the room, the different steps, there is a space where kids have a chance to um, talk about stories of migration as they relate to the butterflies, but how they, how they relate to their families. So we're trying to use the space as a safe space to experiment with a new craft, a new technique, new materials, but also to have a space to talk about um, their family stories of immigration and migration. I think it's very important to have spaces where we can make a mess. And I think it's also really important to have spaces where we can try and fail um, and sort of figure out how to recover the project. Art has played many roles in my life, depending on where I'm at. Um, Sometimes art has been a safe space to deal with grief. Sometimes it's been a place to process. Sometimes it's a place um, to clear my head. Sometimes it's a space where I can directly communicate specific ideas. It's a pretty mercurial thing, but I would say I can't imagine my life without it. Um, and I, I'm excited to give that to kids to, to have this as a tool to like move through the world with. So.